We're here in hole number six. It's a par four with 380 yards from the blue tees, and it's another dog leg hole. Raymond, can you tell me how I should tackle it from the tee mound? Okay, from here, from the blues, the, the bigger hitters who can hit the ball high, they can hit it over these trees here. But for the regular players, you want to be left of the trees so that you have an opening for your second shot. So for the long hitters, you need to lay up. Um, if you're exceptionally long, you can cross <laughs> the creek. Okay. But more often, they play safe before the creek. Yeah. All right, so I'll try to do that, so let's go ahead and tee up. Raymond, I'm left with about 200 yards to the green. I'm not sure if I can reach the green, but if I miss it, where should I land? You're better off missing it on the right side of the fairway, because if you cross the last tree, then it's open there. On the left side, if you pull your shot, it's more difficult to get mm -hmm. the ball on the green from there. Okay, so guys, if I get a bogey, it's fine. Go, 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 go! <laughs> yes. Stop! So Raymond, can you tell me more about the characteristics of the greens here in Tatochi? Okay, the, the blades of the grass, because they're soysha, they're a bit tougher, no? So like this one, you're putting into the green, so it's going to be a bit slower. Mm -hmm. And as the ball slows down, the break's gonna be bigger. So it eats the break. Yeah. Well, I am starting to enjoy this course, but it doesn't mean that it's getting any easier. But I look forward to the last hole since it's a par 3. Let's go! We are on our last featured hole. We're here in the 7th. It's a par 3 with 170 yards from the blue tees. So it's another long hole. <laughs> Well, water, yeah, so can you tell me more about the hazards in the soil? Yeah, this the water is actually in play for the beginners, but for you know the low handicappers, they just overlook the water because it's not really up to the edge of the green. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to fly the ball from here about 160 65 yards, you get a little road, and well, you want to miss it on the right side instead of. Yeah, because the green is yeah. bigger in that side. Yes. So, let's try it. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> you won. Oh, yeah. We were two up. Okay, so Raymond, I'm left with about 25 yards from the hole. So, uh, <laughs> I, I don't like to hit it over, so I prefer it to be short. So, can you help me with the... It's a slow green because we're putting uphill and the green is into us again. Okay. So, you want to give it a firm wrap. I think it's going to break right to left. Really? <laughs> up. I'm quite happy with the turnout of my game today. What a way to start off and finish up. And with a golf buddy like Raymond, who is passionate and great at what he does, there's no doubt about having a fulfilling round of golf. My game has ended and it just went by too fast. I couldn't help but be captivated with how fresh this place looks. Luscious greens all around and a layout not for the faint-hearted. I'd like to thank Raymond for giving me tips that were definitely useful. It's time to shift to the other side of golf, the food. And who better to handle it but Mark and his golf treats. I'll see you later.